So I just got to help us ferry. There's the tracks. This is the place I'm staying in. 1799 Inn. This is a house we're staying in. And of course it was built in 1799. And that is the original railroad bridge, which we are going to go take a look at. Audio jungle. So we are at the Harpers Ferry Tunnel for CSX. This is where the Cumberland and the Shenandoah subdivisions come together to the Metropolitan Subdivision. Today we're going to take a walk around Harpers Ferry and look at some of the old and new railroad stuff that's in this town which there is a lot actually right now i'm going to overlay a old map that is how the railroad used to look like so if we go if we look right here right beside the tunnel there's the abutment for the original alignment and you can see the where the abutments were or where some of them still are. We will go to the other side and see them and go from there. So as you can see as we walk across here, you can see the old abutments. And again, that map will be all over my social media. So go follow all of that at Operator Logan if you want to look at it more closely. see how it widened out for the Y which one track came and went to your left and that continued up to where the tracks are now up there and would eventually be exactly where the tracks are today so they just did a realignment through here so this also was a bridge it looked like it was a couple bridge and I thought if it was railroad or not but if you come over here, you can perfectly see the old right of way of where the tracks used to be. Like you can see the retaining wall is still there. And then you have the new tracks that come over and that's where it would have joined the old alignment and I believe yeah there are still old railroad ties here so that's very unique that's very interesting usually you don't find railroad ties that are that old still intact at all so that's really a unique find and very special so you can see Part the old bridge that isn't in use over in this side because the tracks only turn that way now. So as you can see, we are standing on old right away. That is not a track, that's just blocking. But that and that is a track. And this is one of the old Wise, I believe this is also the same type of route the original railroad would have taken because it came off the bridge and then turned up to go to the station. So you can tell by this rail, this is heavy stuff and it's definitely worn down a lot. The head's very worn, so very cool. So this is where the station was. This is the original underpass. And if you look at it, you can tell because it has that standard like being no style to it. And then we're going to try to race up around the skate. This is where you would go up if you will go into the platform. this 
This is the old big news station at Helpless Ferry. Like all of that, I'll, I'll have it played throughout the video, so just stay tuned and enjoy. So that's where the station originally was, and that's the old tunnel, which is still there. Some I'll more photos of it. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see pretty well. It was moved in 1941. That's this one. You can tell like this is a very like typical looking B no station. Like a lot of them from the B and O, they all look the same. All the pantries kind of look the same. This is them moving it, which honestly is pretty impressive. They're doing the same thing with the B and O station in Aberdeen, Maryland. But I doubt that we will ever see passing those solace again. That there's look at that. I know. I know. Wow. That's crazy. 